Hey guys, it's Melissa Martini on behalf of designbundles.net. Today we're going to be talking about how to warp text within Illustrator. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up your artboard and select your text tool. Now we are going to just type out some text for our design and I'm going to use my selection tool. Hold down the shift key and just make my selection a little bit larger so you're able to see it. Now with our text selected, we want to go up to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Warp. Okay, whenever you open this up, you want to make sure that your preview button is selected. Underneath Style, there is a lot of different styles that are pre-done for you without you really having to mess with the options and it just makes your text look a certain way. So if your preview button selected, you're able to see these immediately. I'm going to go ahead and work with Arc today. The first thing we want to talk about is the bend. On the bend option, it adjusts the way that the text bends. So if you're to the right, it's going to bend up. And if you move it over towards the left, it's going to bend down. Horizontal will control how it looks left to right. So it'll make it a little bit larger on the left hand side. Or if you move it to the right, it'll be larger on the right hand side. And these work hand in hand with the bend as well. So if you have no bend, but you have it larger on the right. You can see it's really tiny over here and really large over here. The other thing is vertical, and that is going to be how it looks top to bottom. So let's just go back over and give it no bend, and we'll have it wide on the top or wide on the bottom. If you zoom in, you can see that once it is saved. Okay, so if we go back over here and give it about a 50% bend, and we have it wider at the top, you can see how it really fans out up there. So we'll change it back over to zero, and we see again that it just looks like it did normally. You can change these as well here by just clicking vertical or horizontal. So that's going to adjust how it bends and how it reacts to the settings below by vertically or horizontally. Once you get your text exactly how you want it to look, just hit OK, and then now you have work text for your design. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted when there are new videos posted. Thanks guys. Have a great day.